Good morning, Mid-Missouri. We're going to start today with sunshine and well warmer than yesterday. We broke a record yesterday. If you thought yesterday morning was warm, we're going to start well warmer. We're looking at 70s here by 10 a.m. into the upper 70s again this afternoon, approaching record territory once more. But then we start to add clouds and a chance for thunderstorms this evening. And we'll see rain filter through overnight just about area wide. So we're starting with some record warmth this morning with temperatures starting in the mid 60s. Uh, that's about as low as some of us will get. And then again, as I mentioned, we're starting with some sunshine here, but look at this cloud cover moving in ahead of a round of thunderstorms as soon as maybe lunchtime for folks on the western edge of mid Missouri, closer to about one to uh, three o'clock for folks through the heart of mid Missouri. So Highway 63 north of I-70, a little bit back forward, uh, a little bit back towards the west, I should say, for folks south of I-70. But this is that initial line of scattered showers and storms. And then as this cold front kind of pushes through mid-Missouri out behind it here, we'll generate uh, likely some more just standard showers just kind of trickling through. And this is the part that could really give us a good soaking rain west of Columbia. So stretching from Warsaw up towards Macon, that's kind of the axis of best rainfall as these showers just kind of stall out and uh, just kind of soak the same areas. It'll, it'll eventually move uh, from west to east by early tomorrow morning, but it'll be a slow process. And again, those better rainfall totals coming towards the west. We may have a snowflake on the back end or two, but overall we're keeping this strictly rain. Even as we drop into the 30s uh, by early Friday morning, uh, we could very well find ourselves below freezing north of I-70 to start. So some bitter cold sets in for your day tomorrow. Add to that wind and we feel even cooler throughout the day. First, let's talk about that rainfall. We could see a narrow band of a half inch or more. This blue, again, stretching from Sedalia, Pettis County, maybe even Benton County in the Warsaw area near Truman Lake. Stretch that all the way up to the north near Macon, uh, Monroe uh, County as well. That's where we could see some of those better rainfall totals. Macon, Randolph, Sheraton, maybe even Monroe. And that's where we uh, see that axis of heaviest rain. To the east, though, near places like Jefferson City and Rolla, Lynn, that's where those totals drop to maybe about a quarter of an inch or less. So, if you, again, if you're to the west, you get some of that, uh, some of that better rainfall. Overall, this system is going to take us from well warmer than normal near record warmth this time of the year. This may be the last day this year that we're this warm. Uh, and we're going to go well down below below average. We're going to drop into the 30s by early Friday morning only to recover into the low 40s by Friday afternoon and that's almost 20 degrees cooler than normal. Here's a look at your wind chills when you factor in the wind. We're feeling like 20s maybe 30s at best throughout the afternoon on Friday. So we're cold Friday. We're even colder temperature wise on Saturday. Winds may relax a little bit, but it's still going to feel bitter out there. And then heading into early next week, we do have some slim chances that may be a little bit of mixed precipitation. So stay tuned if you've got plants early next week. It's important to pay attention to the forecast for Monday through Tuesday. Otherwise, generally speaking, early next week looking well cooler.